Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be doing little experimental project trying to paint my interpretation of the northern lights. Uh, as you can see I started by laying down some purple and some blue trying to capture that beautiful night sky that is so famous uh, for the northern lights. Kind of layered that back and forth trying to make a beautiful skyline. Once I was happy with the sky colors, I started adding the northern lights. I just did some random kind of shoops with uh, a couple of different colors, a uh, green, orange, and pink, which is coming up here in just a second. As you can see at this part, I came in with my finger and tried to blend the colors together. Um, I just kind of went in with my finger and rubbed over the different colors, tried to get them mixed in a little bit. I wasn't super happy with how it turned out, so you can see I come back here and go back over the painting, um, just filling in those spots that I wasn't really happy with. So I decided to try something a little bit different to add some texture to this. And instead of rubbing it together, you can see here I got a, a crumpled up newspaper and just went and dabbed it on there. And you can see it made some pretty cool uh, kind of spotted colors mixed with the green, orange, and pink. After that, I went back in with the purple and sprayed in the area around where I did the texturing for the northern lights just to leave a nice little look at the, the lights themselves. After that I wanted to add some mountains to this painting so you can see here I come in with a paintbrush and just start lightly painting the mountainscape. Once we have the mountains painted on there, we're going to come in with some white and start adding a light side to our mountain. Now, the light is the white is going to mix with the black to make more of a gray color, um, which you'll see here in just a second. And it'll add a little bit of depth and texture to our mountains. As you can see right here, once we're done adding that light side. Now I wanted to add some water underneath the mountain. So you can see I put up a little board right there to block off the top so I didn't mess up what was already done. And we're coming in with some blue. A uh, lighter colored blue and you can see here I actually had some trouble with the cap a little bit of orange because orange is kind of the main color you see up top and adding some white right there and coming back in and adding a different white to it um, just to just to make it a real nice shade right there. And once you kind of have the colors laid down for the water, you just want to kind of go back and forth across your page, and that adds kind of a nice ripple effect of your water. 
I took some gray and I sprayed it kind of just like right along the top of the water and that'll add a nice horizon line. Next, I took up this ripped up piece of paper and just some white spray paint and sprayed it across and I'm doing this just to add some clouds right across the top of the mountains. And now I actually look at it like right here going back at it. I think I probably added a little bit too much cloud coverage, but overall I think it's okay. I don't think it ruined it in any way. Um, and then I sprayed on some stars. So this is the final result, just some beautiful mountains and some nice, beautiful lights in the sky. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Until the next video, peace.